Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to the coding party. In this exciting video, we are going to learn how to work with HTML tables. As many of you have seen, when you open a web page, you find the table with data. We can use HTML tables to create a timetable or to categorize some data. But what's crazy about this is to be used everywhere in the beginning because in the beginning we didn't have the thing style. We couldn't put this thing what they wanna want to be. So when started using table for padding and spacing, a table is simply consists of your rows and columns. So I will be showing you how to work with tables and numbers of opportunities are there how do you wanna to use them? How you wanna to use them. So before starting this tutorial I want you all to open up the PDF file named the structure of table. So as you can see I have drawn a simple structure of HTML table in which I have used different colors to show different attributes of tables. So as a table consists of rows and columns and in HTML if we want to create a table we uh, table row we can use tr tag and if we want to insert uh, a column which means a table data we can use td tag as you can see in the picture that td denotes the table column and tr denotes the table row so let's get started for creating a table what you can do is writing the word table and the insert the table data so we can use the table tag for kids for the creation of table and for insertion of data we can use the tr tag tr tag means the table row and if you want to create columns in a table we can use the td tag which means the table data so as many number of table data you want to insert means as many number of columns you want to insert in a table you have to specify as many number of td tags so i'm going to use three ta three td tags over here for creating the home about and your contacts us uh, which seems like a navigation bar when you open a open this in web page so now you can see the home about us and contact us is written in table so many of you were now wondering about that uh, table is consist of your border along with it and but a table it doesn't seems like that it is a table so yeah i want to tell you that a table it consists of some attributes and border is one of the attributes of your table which we will discussing in later on in this video only so let's create a new row in a table so what i can do is i can just copy the web data and paste in uh, paste just in within the table tag only after the closing of the tr tag as you can see i have used two tr tags so the two number of tables are going to be created and now let's just align the table to the center of your web page so by using the center tag you can align your web align your table into the center of your web page so let's see what our output is as you can see our data is now is in center uh, with consisting of two, ta two, two rows and also you can see the error i have done in this that i have forgotten to close the center tag so it get highlighted in red color so this is the one more of advantage of your ide which tells you that you haven't closed any of your tag and that um, may be highlighted with some different colors so let's just start working with the border attribute of your table so i'm going to assign the value of 5 to border and now you can see that my table is consisting of border with size of with the border size 5 so now let's start working with some other attributes so for example we can choose cell spacing and cell spacing is these space between the cells of your table so let's assign the value 
20 to a cell spacing and let's check our output as you can see my table every cell is having the cell spacing of 20 as I have shown you in the picture video so you can easily understand the concept of cell spacing cell pairing and border so now let's start working with cell pairing and I'm going to assign the value of 25 let's check our output is as you can see our table is now consisting cell pairing of 25 so uh, cell pairing is nothing cell pairing is the amount of space between the border of a table cell and its content so uh, let's change the cell paired cell spacing to 5 and now you can see the output live output over here this is the advantage of your live server now let's just change the cell padding to 15 and you can see the cell padding is now 15 our table is consisting of, cell padding of 15 so i hope you guys like this video and if you guys face any problem or don't understand any point in the video you can just comment below and tell me what you want to understand i will make a separate video on that topic so till then stay safe and keep practicing guys thanks for watching